We all know GNOME has been one of the best desktop environments that provides a graphical user interface for the Linux operating system. It delivers a next-level user experience that is similar to Windows and Mac OS. But there are a few things that you can do to your GNOME desktop to make it more functional. This is where GNOME Extensions comes into the picture. For those who don't know, an extension is a software that allows you to take your GNOME customization to the next level. By using the extensions, you can apply themes and even add fancy app transitions as well as additional features such as blur effects. In this video, I will show you the top 10 must install GNOME extensions for Linux systems in 2023. For demonstration purposes, I choose to use Arch Linux, and these extensions can be used on any GNOME based distribution such as Fedora, Manjaro, Zorin, Pop OS, and more. Before starting, if you enjoy this video, please like and help the YouTube algorithm to make this video visible to more people. The only requirement of this video make sure you have installed the Flatpak package on your Linux system. Then open the terminal on your GNOME desktop and download the extensions manager using Flatpak. Once it's done, open the extensions manager. This is a simple tool that allows you to install any GNOME extension. The user interface is clean and intuitive with two sections on the top bar, browser and install. The install section displays all the extensions currently installed by the system and the user. The browser section allows you to search for any GNOME extension. It's time to start installing GNOME extensions. Just go ahead and search for a quick settings tweaker and install it. It lets you tweak the GNOME 43's quick settings. You can add media controls, notifications, and volume mixers on quick settings and remove useless buttons. Now this gives the brand new look to the default quick settings and makes it more functional and practical. To make the extension more appealing, install the user avatar in quick settings that display the user avatar in the quick settings menu. If you are the one looking to monitor the real-time usage of the system resources, then you must install this GNOME extension named as Top Hat. It aims to be an elegant system resource monitor for the GNOME shell. It displays the CPU, memory, disk, and network activity in real time on the GNOME top bar. Now one thing I hate about the GNOME desktop, it lacks the support of the start menu. To launch an application, you always need to jump into the app gallery, which is a two-step process. This is where the arc menu comes into the picture. Arc menu is the start menu for the GNOME shell, which is sitting on the top left. It neatly organizes all the applications in categories, which is very easy to find for an end user. CoverFlow Alt-Tab is an amazing app switcher that shows an immersive view of the running applications. By pressing Alt plus Tab, you can switch between the applications seamlessly. This extension takes the GNOME experience to the next level and you must give it a try. Dash to Dock is a taskbar also known as Dock, specifically designed for the GNOME shell. By moving the dash out of the overview, it transforms into a dock that provides an easier and faster way to launch applications and switch between windows and desktops. For those looking to enhance the dash to dock, Dock Animator is an extension that adds a magnification effect to the pinned applications. It's important to note that some Linux distributions that come with the GNOME desktop, such as Pop OS and Manjaro, already have this extension pre-installed. 
However, for Ubuntu users, it's better not to install the extension as it may conflict with the default one. Overall, this extension works very well on vanilla GNOME distributions. To improve the speed of the GNOME shell, you must install these two extensions that work together and make it faster. Impatience is an awesome extension that speeds up the GNOME shell animation. In conjunction with that, try GNOME 4X UI improvements, which tunes overview UI to make it more usable. GNOME Shell uses blur in very few parts of the UI. If you notice, the background wallpaper on the lock screen has blurred out and looks pretty good. Now, apart from the lock screen, you may find a blur effect nowhere throughout the system. For instance, the background texture of the Activities Overview shows a dark gray color which looks obnoxious. Installing Blur My Shell will extend a blur to the dock, panels, Activities Overview, and more. Now you can see the GNOME Shell looks more attractive. If you have used a Plasma desktop, then you must know about Hot Corners or Screen Edges. Hot Corners Extended brings the same feature to the GNOME desktop. This way, hovering a mouse cursor on one corner puts me back on the desktop, the other corner puts the display to sleep, another corner shows applications, and finally, the last corner runs a custom script or application. You can customize what you want for every corner. The Burn My Windows triggers an app transition when it's open or closed. Now these are the stunning app transitions that may surprise everyone. For example, if I open any application, this is the effect it will show. And if I close any applications, it burns my window just like that. If you want to apply GNOME themes on your GNOME desktop, then you must install an extension named User Themes. This will load the themes from the hidden directory named Themes present inside the Home folder. To change themes, you must have installed the GNOME Tweaks tool. Then inside here, choose the Appearance, Select Shell, and see all the installed themes. This way, you can change the themes hassle-free. By using this extension, you can completely change the look of the GNOME shell. For example, you can turn your GNOME desktop to look like macOS Ventura. I made a complete tutorial on this topic. We can check the video link in the description. When you are running an important task that needs to be monitored, then use caffeine which prevents your system from sleeping. When you install this extension, you will see a new toggle added to the quick settings menu. By using this toggle, you can enable caffeine mode. You can also use more options to use a caffeine timer. And that's pretty much it. These are the top 10 best GNOME extensions that you must try on GNOME Desktop in 2023. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next one.